So I went to my colleagues in my laboratory and I asked them, listen, go to the literature, screen the literature and find which vaccine was never ever reported to associate with any uh, autoimmune effect or autoinflammatory. And they came with one vaccine and it's Nuvovax. And Nuvovax is the only vaccine which does not contain adjuvant. Isn't it interesting? There is another aspect to it. The Nuvovax can induce protective autoantibodies, but this is a completely different aspect. I don't want to confuse you, but the Nuvovax can induce something which is also pneumococcus, which means protective antibodies. And this is, again, complementing, uh, uh, com um, uh, criticizing the uh, talk of uh, Palevsky. So now I would like to move very short because we will hear an extensive talk from um, uh, Romain. When I read his papers, I had another inspiration because he showed very clearly, clearly that the macrophage myofasciitis is associated with the adjuvant and specifically the alum. And these are some pictures which I've taken from his book, but I would like you to draw against your attention to the clinical manifestation. Myalgias, chronic weakness, severe weakness, and sometimes also um, a neurological manifestation. If I remember well, in your first paper, you published the third of the patients developed eventually multiple sclerosis. And the time period, again, was not 21 days or two months or three months. It came up to eight years. Uh, so it shows that there is a long um, uh, incubation time. This is the paper that I discussed with you about the appearance of macrophage myofasciitis in children. It came out from uh, Israel.